Welcome back viewers, welcome back. This is the Treasures of Life show and my name is Jonas Simba, my sign language interpreter. In this section is Anne Wairimo. We are bringing you this show from Science Television. We are bringing it from Nairobi, Kenya. Just in case you're watching this from any part of the world, feel free to get in touch. 0 triple one Give us a word. Tell us something. How do you find this topic? The power of empathy is what I'm talking about, even as I wind up today. I wish I could listen to you. I wish I could listen to you. Because one of the secrets of empathizing is listening to people are you out there husbands ha men are you out there are you listening to me many times our wives our women our ladies complain that we do not listen <laughs> because men are wired in a certain way let me surprise you women men are wired in a in a manner that they want facts. They are men, <laughs> they are people who want facts. They go to the point. No sooner have you finished the story than they have started giving you a solution. Trust you me, don't get offended. That is the nature of men. But just in case you are listening to me, men, whether you are a young man, middle-aged man, old man, this is a time for you to listen to some tip of power some tip that may win your wife closer and win him win her to your side listen learn the art of listening mothers do you listen to your children do you listen to people as a leader there is the art of listening you know allow people to talk and to talk and to talk oh my that is excruciating to men i know it i know men i know because i am a man they feel like it is so painful for somebody especially their wives to keep talking and talking and talking they talk while they are here they talk while they're in the kitchen they talk while they go to wherever they are moving to the veranda wherever and they are still talking and talking and you think they have stopped and they sit and they talk and talk again and then talk and talk and talk and talk it is so excruciating to men it is so painful because i know men are wired not for so much talk but relationships between man and women man and a woman demands that we understand each other when a man is stressed when a man is under pressure, trust you me, a man goes quiet. Women, you may not understand it. Many men want to go quiet and to be quiet. So the more you talk to them, the more you stress them. And men, men, you should understand women. When women are stressed, maybe I don't qualify to speak this, but I know they are, they are sharing this to me now. 0 -0 Tell me if it is true. When women are stressed, they like to talk and to talk and to talk and to talk. That is how they ease off. That is how they bring out their pressure. So the power of empathy demands that men understand women. Children understand parents and parents understand their children. There is a call for understanding, listening, 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 and more listening. Listening is an art. There is something that goes deeper than hearing. I may hear you, but I'm not listening to you. You need to go deeper as a leader and listen to your people. When you are talking to a crowd of the people you lead, be respectful. Listen to the body language of your people. Listen to the non-verbal communication. I wish I could see how people sit in a room because maybe I'm physically blind. But I have other ways of telling. I have the inner eyes. 
I am able to tell when there is tension. You need to see people's body posture when they are seated talking to you. Sometimes they are tight. They are not relaxed. That is a message that they are passing. It is a non-verbal communication. Their sitting position. Are they so tight? Do they look tensed? Are they relaxed? Look at people's sitting position. That is an art of, re it tells you something that when you sit and talk to people, you need to make them free, easy. Maybe you're a mentor, a counselor. Let people be free with you. Let be people be free. You know, I had time somebody talk about freedom. Let people be free. Allow people to be themselves and just to bring out what they need to bring out. Empathy demands that you do not interrupt people when they are talking to you. You're not picking phone calls. You know, you're not getting disrupted. You're giving them time. That is how you empathize. Empathy wins people's support. Empathy will give you business. <laughs> Empathy will give you networks. Empathy will win you friends. That is the power of empathy. Empathy will reduce your stress and will reduce people's stress. Empathy will make people trust you. Yeah. You may not be trusted, but the moment you empathize with people, they start to trust you because you are not giving them lack of attention. You are giving them room to be themselves. You are walking in their shoes. You are giving them time to speak to you, to communicate. You are giving them time, you know, um, to, 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 to be who they are. And we are all on, all on different journeys. Fathers and mothers, don't be too hard on your children. We are living on a, in a generation where, I say it again, people are celebrating truth and reality in this time. People are true to themselves. Give your children some time. They may be going through some challenges, but you do not know what you are dealing with in your hands. You are dealing with power. These are powerful people. This is a responsibility that nature and God and divinity has placed in your hands. So empathize. There is a challenge that they are facing. The challenges of this generation are not the challenges of yesterday's generation. If you were taken to be a teenager now, Trust you me, you would struggle. The things these teenagers are doing at their age 8 and their age 7 and their age 13, those are things we did at 25 in our ages and those who are ahead of us were doing it at 30. These are people who have explored relationships. How difficult it is for me to say it. But these are people that have explored relationships at 10 years. That is why they end up in teenage pregnancies and all that. You need to be around them to empathize and train them. Do not be afraid. Do not shy away from mentorship. Mentor them. Train them. Don't stay away from that responsibility of mentoring them. You know, um, be a good mentor. There are qualities of a good mentor. One of the qualities of a good mentor is being a good listener. Be a mentor to your children. Train them at their age. By the way, as a leader, you can mentor the population. You can mentor the population. The language diet of our leaders can mentor the, 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 the population to speak in a certain direction. Arrogance from leadership breeds arrogance from the population. It trickles down. You may not understand the power of one, the power of one leader. You may not understand the ability in you to co-create in people. As a leader, you have a God-given responsibility. You have a power that you may not understand. Some kind of potency lies in you as a leader. There are people who just copy you, admire you, follow you just for the sake of it. Because you are a leader.
So you need to understand how to fashion your talk, empathize in your talk, be respectful, empathize in your communication. There are things that you may be fighting to say, but you do not say it just because you empathize as a leader. The moment you bring it out, you kill destinies, you kill hope in people. People look at you as a leader. You may not understand how how lethal that this weapon of your um tongue is tame your tongue tame it try hard to tame your tongue as a leader try hard it is not easy it is a difficult task but as i keep saying in this show human beings do not grow human beings are raised up that is why you need a mentor even as a leader you need to be under a pastor to be raised up you need to be under a club leader some kind of trainer some kind of mentor somebody you respect somebody that you can listen to because you as a leader you do not grow you are not a tree that you're just growing no you are raised up you need somebody to raise you up you need somebody to tame you, to tell you this is what you need to do. A generation without a prophet is a lost generation. A generation without no, nobody to prophesy to it, to lead it. A generation without shepherding. A generation without leadership is an empty generation. You know, a youth without a, a leadership that has brains is just energy that is going wild i'm not talking about um, i'm talking about our youth who even are in leadership or even men and women that have been given the responsibility to lead empathy demands that you as a leader work hard to raise yourself up so that as you lead the many people you are empathizing with them leading them to play to greater places of social uh, blessing you know social accountability is key for you as a leader as you lead your people as you lead that family where does your heart lie do you are you a man and a woman of virtue are you a man and a woman that empathizes with the people that you lead you are the ceo are you empathizing with the people that you lead in that company in that company are you empathizing with the people in that nation in that gener you are a system you are a system as you're listening to me you are not just one person i'm talking to a whole system there are people that look at you and you are their object of jealousy. Trust you me. You are the object of strife for many. You are the object of hope for many. People look at you and that is where they, they gain tips of growth, tips of prosperity. When people look at you, they see fu the future. They see a breaking from history. They see, wow, we have something new coming. We are breaking from the poverty of the past. That is the power of one. We have something at last, and I am winding up in two minutes. We have something at last coming to our family. We have somebody that we can look unto. Break free from history. Break free from arrogance. Break free from the things of the past. Things that have held you before. You may have been a man and woman of anger, of strife, lack of empathy, a man of vengeance, always paying back people, an eye for an eye. If, you, if, we, if we applied that rule today, all of us will be blind. If I started saying a tooth for a tooth right now, all of us will be toothless. We will be a toothless nation because all of us have something that we have that we need to be paid for you know we have something that we have wronged somebody on that is why we need to exercise forgiveness for one another how important that is we need to be vessels of forgiveness walking in forgiveness i i know sometimes i get a backlashing for the things that i'm bringing to you i need your prayers keep praying for me that i may be here to share these tips with you because the things that I'm sharing with this generation can change the generation, can change your family, can change your life. 
You are very lucky that you are listening to me. You are blessed. Trust you me. There are forums where people pay so that they listen to this. They pay. There are places where I have to get in, a, in an aeroplane and travel and organize for people to listen to this. But look at you. You are blessed. You are listening to this for free seated there and you are obtaining power may you practice the things that i am sharing may you be willing if you are willing to listen to these things if you are obedient to them you will eat the fruits of these things you will see wisdom in your life understanding in your life are you looking for wisdom exercise empathy there is wisdom in empathy a man and a woman of empathy is a man and woman of wisdom Sometimes you need to take one, two, three, four, five seconds before you answer. To think through before you bring out some word out of your tongue. You know, step back a little bit. Move back a little bit. Think kidogo. Kidogo is Kenyan Swahili word of a little bit before you speak. That is wisdom. It, it, you can overcome the same energy that wants to come out in form of pain can come out in a different way under every negative emotion lies pain and that is the painkiller that i'm giving for you always do not give evil a chance to rejoice and give you pain because with every negative emotion you will face the pain. Tomorrow you will be taking painkillers or you will be trying to heal yourself, suffering shame, trying to heal from embarrassment, little embarrassments because of bouts of strife, bouts of jealousy, bouts of anger, you know, just things that you could overcome. You know, we need a healthy nation, a healthy generation. It all starts from the soul. And that is how I end it. The power is in our minds. Renew your mind right now. The power is in your mind. A renewed mind is a renewed soul. It is all in your mind. You can empathize. You can give forgiveness. You can forgive them. It is possible. You can let it go. Yes, they do not pick your phone calls. You can let it go. Yes, they speak angrily to you. You can let it go. Yes, they are jealous of you. You can let it go. They are in strife with you. They are gossiping about you. They hate you for no reason. You can let it go. They exercise propaganda. They, 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 they broadcast you, your life in a negative way. You can forgive. When you do that, you release energy to you. You heal you. You are doing yourself good. The power of empathy is looking at them that wrong you and turning the other cheek. There is power in that. Never in vengeance, always forgiving, letting it go. You will be on the other side. You will find power, friends, energy, new opportunities. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you with energy. See you next week on the Treasures of Life show. Bye-bye.